Hi, I'm Paris, and last year I did a product review of a cleaner for getting mold and mildew out of bathtubs, showers, and off the tiles. After that video, I was contacted by this company, Everdry. They said, have you got humidity problems? We can fix those. They offered to send me out their new Air Dry 365 dehumidifying system that uses these cartridges. It goes on the base that gets the humidity out of them, so you can put them back into use. I said, sure, send me one out. I'd love to try it. Plus, I really like the name Eva Dry. It reminds me when you're at the peak of diaper changing frustration with a baby and you ask them, Are you Eva Dry? Epic review. You can buy these components separately. I think the cartridges go for about $20 and the base is about $30. This set, if you buy it from their website, is $59 with everything you see here, and I'll link to that down below the video. I did see at Target they have this if you're in need of it right away and want to run to the store and get it. At Target, it looks like they sell you the base plus one cartridge for about $50. The advantage to having two cartridges is that when you have one of them on the base unit, with the humidity being taken out of it, the other one can be in place absorbing humidity out of a closet or out of a room. Something else I liked about reviewing a dehumidifier is that it was an excuse to go out and buy a humidity gauge. Used to have one of these that was built into a weather station that gave you outside temperature humidity, inside temperature humidity, all that cool stuff, but it stopped working. This is just uh, inside the house unit, but it does tell you the lowest point the humidity's reached in the last 24 hours and the highest point. So I think with this, I'll be able to test this out pretty well. Evadry makes a number of dehumidifying products, so I'd seen their name before, and they, everything seems to be based on these silica dehumidifying gel capsules. So I think that's what these cartridges are full of, and there are little windows on them that change color when they're saturated with moisture, so you know it's time to put them on the base somewhere else and put a new cartridge in to keep up dehumidifying. Here's what comes with this package. This is the blower unit with the switch on the back, and you do have to plug it in to blow air up through the cartridge. Now, it does have a warning in the instructions not to cover the top and that the sides may become warm or hot. So I'm thinking this must have a, a heating element in it as well, because if I remember correctly, endothermic, exothermic, if you take liquid water and you turn it back into gaseous water, that should absorb heat. That's why it cools down after it rains and everything evaporates, right? Yeah, so with that being the case, I'm thinking this has to be providing some of its own heat that would speed up the drying out of these cartridges. I've never used something like this before, but apparently one of the great new features of this design is this can be ready to go again to use from completely saturated with water to completely dry and ready to absorb in two hours. And apparently it used to take a lot longer to have these ready to use again. Which brings me to the cartridges. This is the top where you can see the window. The crystals inside are closer to yellow than green. They're not really bright yellow, but I believe that means they can still collect a lot more humidity. Probably weighs about a pound. That's where the dryer unit will blow the air up through this to remove the humidity from it. And then there are all the little ventilation holes. Now it rained here last night. It rained and rained and rained. So there's lots of humidity. Um, I'll get this fired up and see what the humidity is in the house right now. The air conditioner hasn't been running. I've turned that off, so that won't be a variable. We have central heating and cooling, so that would change the humidity in the rooms. I'm actually going to test this out in a closet rather than the bathroom because the bathroom have the window open when showering and then the, the air conditioning unit and the doors open, people coming and going. So to test it and see the exact amount of humidity it can remove from a small room, uh, a medium-sized closet, that seemed like the best way to test it out under controlled circumstances. This Accurite temperature and humidity gauge was about $10. I got it over at Fry's. You can also find it at Home Depot. I'll put a link to it down below this video. Does exactly what I want and doesn't have any other fancy features. I basically want to know what the high point and low point of the humidity is in a given room over like 24 hour period. This takes one AA battery. I put that in. As soon as it came on, it showed 53% humidity and what are we at, 75, 77 degrees. Now the humidity has gone up in the two minutes since, which of course it hasn't really, but as some air has circulated through this, it's showing the humidity be a little bit on the high side in the house. I was expecting it would be a little higher, but 60% is good. If we can get it down to 45% in that closet, I think this device will be working pretty well. In normal humidity ranges from about 20% to 80%, this is accurate to within about 3%. 
just in the few seconds since I changed the zoom on the camera, it went down to 59. Now it's up to 62. So we're going to average that out. The cylinders come with hangers, so you can attach this here and hang it on the clothes rod or some kind of a hook in the room, or you can, I guess, set it flat somewhere. I'll, I'll try one each. I was going to use just one in the closet, because after all, it is a closet. I'll show you the size of it. But then I was reading how much water actually is removed by one of these cylinders going from completely dry to filling up with as much water as it can hold. It's 120 to 150 cc's. Is that a lot? Is that not a lot? It's about four and a half to five ounces of water. So that's all the water that's going to be removed from the air in the closet. Will that really make a difference in the humidity? A measurable difference in humidity? I'm not sure. So I decided I'll just go ahead and open the second one up, hang them both in there, give it a couple hours, and then have the initial check of the humidity, see the follow-up check if the humidity has dropped and by how much. I pulled the battery out of the humidity gauge so it could start over with the high-low, and it's been in the closet for a couple minutes now. Looks like low to mid 50s is the humidity percentage here. Let me hang up the two cylinders and then I'll close the door and leave it closed for two hours and see what it is when I come back. As soon as I brought the two Eva dry cylinders in here, the humidity started dropping, but I think that's probably a coincidence. I've put one like this up on the shelf next to Tracy Island, the playset, and the other one is over here past all the magic shirts and it's hanging right on the clothing rod. Well, it's actually five hours later. I'm gonna open the door quickly, turn on the light, and see what the humidity gauge shows. So here we go. 53%. It got down as low as 49, back up as high as 55. Hmm. Now the temperature has dropped from 77 to 70. And there's something about relative humidity. The warmer the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So is it possible that at 77, the humidity here might be 40%, but at 70, it's 53%. Let's take a look at the canister here. Still seems to be about the same shade of yellowish orange. This one also. Well, it's after nine o'clock at night, which is not the best time for my brain to try to understand psychrometric charts, which are related to humidity and air volume and temperature and enthalpy. <laughs> I downloaded them on here. And I downloaded this big program that allows me to interact with the chart and adjust the different variables. I think, as I understand it, putting in my different numbers here from what I experienced in the closet, I believe that when I started out, my dew point in there was about 15 degrees Celsius, around 60 Fahrenheit. If the temperature dropped below that, I could get some condensation. Whereas when I was done, when I had the 49% humidity at 70 degrees, my, I think this is dew point, was 10 degrees Celsius, which is about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So in order to get the water to condense on objects in the closet, originally it would have had to just drop to 60 degrees. Whereas after those canisters had been in there absorbing some moisture, it would have had to actually drop down to 50 degrees in order to get some condensation on objects. That's how I understand this. So I think that means it actually removed some of the humidity. Again, I showed you the cup, which how much is the maximum amount of liquid that can be removed with one canister before it's completely saturated. Is that a lot compared to the volume of air? This is the kind of stuff you learn about at nine in the morning, not at nine o'clock at night. So I don't really feel like I'm doing this justice. I do believe it is taking some moisture out of the air in the closet. Maybe it needs more time to do that. They do say you can usually leave these a couple weeks. Maybe it doesn't do that much when your humidity is around 50%. Maybe it's when your humidity is 70%, then you'll really see a big reduction. I'm not sure on those things, so I feel like I may not be doing justice to the product, but it's about all I can do right now. I actually have jury duty to go to tomorrow, so I'm going to show you one more thing about this product, which I really think is working, and then I've got to go to sleep. I've taken one of the canisters out of the closet. Still looks pretty yellowish orange to me, but I want to show you how this works. And when I turn this on, I did notice that the air coming up through the little piece here is definitely 
warm. So there is a heating element in it. I'm going to put this on here. And I feel a little bit of air coming out all around it. So it's doing its job. It's going to heat the crystals up and that will force the humidity out of them. And after a couple hours of this, it'll be ready to go absorb another 150 cc's of water. Now you obviously don't want to do this in the same area where you're trying to dehumidify because this just takes all the moisture you removed and puts it right back into the air. So I imagine I would probably do this in the garage or somewhere that I really don't care what about the temperature and humidity there. Now if I get impaneled on a case tomorrow and it has anything to do with humidity, I'm going to tell them, send me over to UT for a couple weeks, let me sit in on a class to really understand this and then I'll be glad to come back and be on your jury. You can find out more about this product, which I really do think works fine at the link down below this video. You can keep checking back for our future videos, coherent or incoherent. You can click on that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Good night. Yeah.